Marymount Water Works is a historic landmark. It pumped water into the homes all across Philadelphia in the 1800s, and now it's the site of a very incredible and very important exhibition. For over 200 years, Fairmount Water Works has graced the banks of the Schuylkill River. Originally, this was the sole water pumping station for Philadelphia, until industrial development along the river polluted the region's water quality. Fairmount Water Works is now the hub for water education in the region. Philadelphia School District students once used this space as a practice pool for competitive swimmers. And through September, it's now home to the powerful art exhibit called Pool, a social history of segregation. A 4,700 square foot museum that investigates the nation's handling of race as it relates to public pools. They want me to talk about social justice animated film, sculptures, and photographs tell a rich history. The historical parts of the exhibit tell you true stories. I wanted to run you through some fiction, some um, tall tales, some absurdities that speak to the reality of the past. I met up with visual artist Homer Jackson. Ultimately, it's really about engaging an audience um, trying to make people laugh or cry with a story. There was no swimming pool close enough. Homer choreographed 15 video vignettes, unique stories told across three monitors called Whispers from the Deep. The concept of immersing one's body into water is ancient. He explores baptisms, sharks, and life around public pools. Our swimming pools are, have historically been hard to swim in because they're so crowded. So one of the pieces is about this um, feeling of jealousy of a person standing at, at, on the sidelines while everybody's swimming. There's no room. There's absolutely no room for them to get in. This one stands out to me. <laughs> that's, that's intense. The exhibit looks at the harsh reality African Americans dealt with during segregation. You're just like terrified and can't believe it. Famous Horace Court photograph shows the manager of a motel pouring acid into a pool to force out the black swimmers. These stories, all of these people who participated in pulling this, this exhibit together, the historians, the swimmers, the coaches, the trainers, the community leaders, all have these tales, their own experiences. And these, these are real histories that really happen. And they're just bearing witness to what happened. Philadelphia is home to the largest number of public pools per resident in any of the major cities. A figure that heightens the importance of water safety. The CDC says the number one cause of death of children, one to four, is drowning. That is frightening. That is frightening. So if anything this exhibition can wake us up to is like, oh, it's important for children to learn how to swim as early as possible and for adults to be conscious of the possibility of their lives being taken from us if we're not paying attention to them, to attention to them near water. Some say swimming feels like flying, an amazing feeling captured through art. You know, this is an unusual exhibit because it's a merger of historical information, historians, uh, journalists, community leaders, athletes, and artists. That's a rare, that's rare. If you want to check out that exhibit for yourself, it runs through September.